So, hi guys. This video is about uh, performance issues in iRacing. I was struggling, I just installed a, a 4090 graphics card hoping to get decent frame rates um, and hopped into a session and I was still struggling um, on given parts, um, especially Imola around grandstand start finish line and Nürburgring combined around start finish grandstands, uh, parts like this. Uh, with really low frame rates. So in 95% of the situations, tracks and uh, parts, I had like 150 frames per second, but on those uh, small parts of tracks, it dropped down to 50, despite a 4090, basically a high-end computer system. So um, I asked uh, iRacing or the support what to do, and uh, they suggested to try these quality settings. So um, these standard settings, a restart the simulation and uh, give it a go. So if I go to class one and um, basically I found out I can just hop into the car and uh, this is around some of the worst frame rates I will receive even if I do the whole lap. So sitting here in the, in the pit lane gives me around 150 frames per second. Uh, this is a triple screen setup with uh, 7,680, I think, uh, times 1,440, so rather higher resolution um, and triple screens. So uh, that's the performance here, sitting uh, in the pit using class one preset. What I normally do, because it's rather high-end system is that I crank up the stuffs which are important to me and I just found out that most of it doesn't really affect anything. So uh, high details here, grandstands, high details, crowds, I get rid of crowds because I don't like them. Soft particles, I keep this uh, limit from it's 270 because this is what my monitors can do. I don't get more anyway on triple screens. 16, I just found out I probably can do eight here. I click on walls. Uh, Sean, if you test it to the, we can do this, this pre. And now it becomes interesting. I just tested it. I don't do video memory. I don't do virtual mirror. So I leave everything basically on max, almost without cockpit mirrors, like in the preset. Okay, none of the, the preset classes are using cockpit mirrors. And now I found out why. Because with this, everything maxed out but mirrors, I run actually more than in class one. So 100, uh, almost 170, basically yeah, the limit of my frames. So despite all maxed out, frame rates sitting here are perfectly fine. Now look what happens when I uh, give uh, cockpit mirrors, because I don't use the virtual one. And for immersion, I do need the, the mirrors in the car. Um, and I only use those, so not the virtual one. So for cockpit mirrors, and let's go on high details for just test reasons. And we just had 170 frames per second. Now look, we, we are dropping to 84, 85, 83, 80 something. This is a drop from 170 to 80, almost half. This is half the frame rates without cockpit mirrors, no other changes. And what drives me crazy the most is you, you are approaching iRacing asking for performance issues, and I did so many times struggling, and they give you advice of uh, your hardware is not correctly configured and every computer system is different and whatnot. And nobody can tell me that they are not perfectly aware that this, this one setting of having mirrors or not is, is causing half the frame rates from 80 to 170. I, I'm speechless. I'm completely speechless. I mean, you are overclocking, you're trying to, to do the last little bit of performance, hardware performance. I was thinking of buying a, a 3090 CPU and change everything to get a little little more frame rates around this, when in fact it's this one little thingy causing everything. 
So even if I try to reduce this uh, to like no headlights on the track, no headlights in the mirrors at all, no higher details, and only the cockpit mirrors with the with the lowest quality. So that's the bare minimum for me. It's still a hundred instead of a hundred seventy frames. And that is without any other cars going on here. So it's almost ha not half anymore, but it's 70 frames, 65 frames less than without the mirrors. 65 frames just to have mirrors. I'm really struggling to get my mind around this. So none of the other settings matters anything. It's just this cockpit, yes, uh, cockpit mirrors, yes or no. That's unbelievable. But try that out. Let me know if you find the same. Um, especially in these situations, uh, I know Imola start finish around grandstands and Nürburgring combined around grandstands. These are the uh, situations where this is affected most. So Nürburgring combined around here, Nürburgring will have the yeah, 90. So. It's 80. Hundred fifty here for some reason. Hundred twenty. Twenty. Hundred thirty. A hundred. Twenty and thirty. And uh, I think on notch life it becomes uh, quite good again. Under fifty immediately. Here sometimes it takes a hit, yeah, a hundred. So I think it's because it's in direction of grandstands. And now it's 160 again. Under 70. This is maxed out. So The pro and this is now max up for uh, understeer, too much understeer. So basically, these are maxed out settings, other than the mirrors. And uh, this is 170, so basically the highest uh, I can ask for because screens don't do more. And that would perfectly fine for me. But around grandstands, there will this drop down to 100, so 70 frames. And as we just found out, it's just because of the mirrors. Hundred seventy.
Oh, there's under steer. Oh! And this, I don't know if you see this in the in the stream or in the recording. That was a, a light change. Despite the, the sky being on high detail, it's like a, a flip of a flip chart, like a DF. Like if you change, somebody is turning on or off the light. It's ridiculous. It's so bad. I don't know what is causing that exactly, but it's extremely bad. There should be a better solution for that. So this, like basically the whole notch life is 170, so max frame. Well, how much is graphics card being used? 40%. And CPU, 34, and basically no core is maxed out. This will change around Nürburgring, I'm sure. Sixty-five hundred fifty now was a little worse, but that's all perfect. I would be so happy if I could have this everywhere. And it also looks good. Sometimes it says there is a lot of frames, but the picture is still stuttering. But this really looks good. So the interesting part is going to happen end of the thing here when coming on to the Nürburgring Grand Prix track again. 150 now, frames, not speed. I can't, I can't drive the car without the, the mirrors. That's 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 ridiculous. For me, but the mode it's causing 70 frames drop, and even worse, it's not. It's like only on this little part. Now take a look. We come on Nürburgring, and now the frames drop to 190. CPU looks perfectly fine, actually. Still 37 percent, nothing maxed out. Still only 90 frames from 170. And that's caused by the mirrors, and only by the mirrors. So. Well, we have identified a problem, but there's just nothing we can do about it. Other than decide to drive without the mirrors at all. 
And if you want mirrors, um, you have a 70 frames per second hit in these areas. And only in these areas. So there has to be something I think uh, can improve here. Hopefully. Thanks for watching.